GitHub just released the new security overview, which provides a high-level view of all the application security risks a GitHub organization is exposed to. Let's explore it today in this 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in each episode I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something in only just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about the new GitHub security overview. But let's start the clock and get into it. GitHub security features are great, but they've always been focused more on single developers or small teams. In fact, we've always missed a kind of overview or centralized management for security and security issues that an organization or a group of teams may face. But now, luckily, everything changes. Because we now have a single place in which we can see all the application security risks detected by code scanning, dependable, and secret scanning. In fact, the new security overview not only expose those known vulnerabilities and issues, but it can also tell you where other unknown vulnerabilities may happen because the security features haven't been turned on. But enough talking, let's see it is in action. All right, to access the new security overview, you just need to go to your organization or to your team because it's available for both and click on the security tab you have over there. So let's click on it. And here we are, we have the new security overview that as you can see, it's still in beta. We have an initial summary over here that says how many repositories you have for some level of risk and where the features are enabled. In my case, I know straight away that I have six repos with high risks, one repo with medium risks, and I have 632 repos with unknown risks. Unknown risk means that some of the security features are actually not enabled. And we will see this in a second. And in fact, we can see it also over here that over the 639 repos we have, there's none where all the security features are enabled. We have the show more button, which gives us a lot more insights. Again, it's a summary, but a more detailed one. We can see, for example, that we have zero code scanning alerts, but that's it because, as you can see over here, no repo has code scanning enabled in this moment. This is why we have over here, as I said before, the zero repos with all the features enabled. Then we have the dependables alert over here. We have 70 alerts in this moment. And again, we have a categorization of the severity of those alerts. And we know that we have 165 repos enabled for dependable. And finally, we have the summary for the secret scanning alerts. And in this moment, we do not have any secret detected. So there's no security risk from secret scanning on a total of 155 repos that have secret scanning enabled. So this is the first thing to consider. You want to go here and see where your security features have been enabled. And if you have any critical alert or risk from any of your repo, if we scroll down, we can see the dashboard. On the left, we have the name of the repos. And on the right, we have the statuses. So we can see first the level of risk, high, medium, or as we've seen before, unknown. And then we have the three status of the services, code scanning, secret scanning, and dependable. And we can have here three kind of statuses, if you will. The first one is this one or this one where the X is present. This means that GitHub Advanced Security is not enabled. Therefore, neither code scanning nor secret scanning can be enabled. The other status we can have is the gray icon like here, but without the X. This just means that code scanning is not enabled. However, GitHub Advanced Security is enabled. And third and last status we can see is like this one, the white icon with a number on the side. White icon means that the service is enabled. And the number, as you can imagine, represents the number of vulnerabilities or risks that have been detected. In this example, we have zero risks from circuit scanning and two vulnerabilities from Dependabot. If we click on any of these statuses, for example, let's click on Dependabot on this repo, we are taken on the related page inside the security tab of the single repo. So it's very easy to go back and forth between the dashboard 
the security overview and the security details of every single repo. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Final note, remember that at least at the time of recording this video, the new security overview is in beta and is available only if you have GitHub Avanced Security licenses. So what do you think about this new security overview page in GitHub? Do you find it useful? Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are and also how you plan to use this new feature and more importantly, if you see anything missing in there that you would love to have. Also, you may want to check out this video that explains you how you can treat security issues in a DevOps context. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave.